previously on Tokyo Zebra. Welcome back everyone. We got in a car seat in the last episode and now today we are finally going to Costco. You might have actually seen our previous video where we went to Costco when Wolfie was less than one. I think he was still in his- Four months. Four months. Yeah, I was just supposed to be Okay, so he was in his um, baby car seat. Now we have the new car seat and we are good to go. We're having a little Thanksgiving get together with some friends and family. Wait, no family. Just friends. So we have to get some supplies there for today. So maybe the total is gonna be a little bit more expensive than the previous time, but oh well. But we are prepared this time because last time we were there, we didn't prepare our credit card or we didn't have the appropriate credit card. Here in Japan or in Tokyo at least, they only take MasterCard and I have a Visa, Maiko has an American Express and we just weren't able to use it. So this time we have cash, we are good to go. We're gonna go pick up Wolfie from the nursery and then we'll head over to Costco. Which reminds me, I need to get my license out because I don't think I've actually driven since then. Don't know. Ah. Oh, I have, I have. I haven't, oh, I haven't. I don't know, I haven't driven in several months at least. Um, so you don't really need a car in Tokyo because you can get around and if I do go outside of Tokyo, you just take the train and then taxi it or... Yeah, so I'm gonna be going on the road again, which is always a little bit stressful. So yeah, um, come join us for our Costco trip today. Car seat is good to go. Maiko, you have all the stuff. You have anything to say? Well, I think it's just gonna feel bad for Wolfie because we had to wake him up a little bit earlier than usual. But... but he did sleep until 7, about 30 this morning. But he was up during the night. I'm always looking at the positives. I you look up the facts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this the car? Oh. oh, that was quick. Just use the app, huh? Yeah. Last time I didn't use that. Okay. Oh, gosh, it was Wait, ready to go. All right, thank you. So we're back again using a Tokyo car share service since we don't have our own car. Easy enough though to quickly find and book a car via app and pick up at a preferred public parking lot. Let's see if it's through here, I think. Is this twisted? All right, we're good to go. Let's go pick up Wolfie. Are you using a cup holder, Wolfie? Yeah. On our last Japan Costco trip, if you remember, Wolfie was crying most of the way, even though mommy tried her hardest to entertain him. But this time, he seems pretty calm. Nothing like having a calm kid in the back while driving. Maybe it's the new car seat. What did you do? I think we're almost there though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've been so focused, I've been wearing a mask this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> that is It's actually his first time getting on a shopping cart seat, so he seems a bit shocked and maybe amazed all at once. Yeah, he's like, what? Yeah. What did you get, Michael? I got a hot dog, a dessert drink, and a crumb chowder. How much was a hot dog? 180, 150, I don't know. With a drink? With a drink, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna order it in like, hey, it comes with drinks. Wow. Nice, then you got a clam chowder? Yeah, it's just 300 yen. Perfecto. We decided to have a quick lunch before starting our shopping. Like some of you may already know, he's a picky eater, but it seems like he's down with that Costco food. <laughs> you want sausage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. More sausage? No. More? Too hard. Yeah. So, Maybe this is the one we've been buying from a random person. Yeah. <laughs> How many are there? 44. What did you get? I got turkey. The smallest one was 6.4, so that's what I got. Yeah. And the uh, milk bread. In the fresh protein section, Michael's staples are bulgogi and seafood ajio. I have this mini brie. I don't have a blue cheese. Do you want me to add the blue cheese? Sure. I mean, I'm not a fan of blue cheese. A spicy cheese would be nice. Spicy cheese. So cheap. Coming down is so expensive in Japan. 
cheese is one thing that's quite expensive in Japan, so for sure it's a Costco must buy for us. To be fair though, a lot of things here feel like a must buy since it's so much cheaper than regular Japanese supermarkets. Unfortunately, our Tokyo apartment can't handle all of it. <laughs> My mom used to buy this all the time when I was growing up. She like loved these ones. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit inside? Are you going to pull it? So, should we get cutlery? I have a cute one in the hood. They're one of the Shibuya station. Can I get this? If you want, yeah. Oh, it's so cheap. It's only 3,300. Yeah? Yeah. So, what are you doing? I don't know. The snowman. You're waving to the snowman? Hey snowman, bye bye snowman. Ooh, there's a basketball hoop over there. That's not what we're looking for though. <gasps> Mario Kart. It's a little too small for you though, huh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah? Which one do you want? Yeah. You want pink? Yeah? The pink one? We're gonna go with pink one, okay? This Japanese Costco, unsurprisingly I guess, had a lot of cute American toys. Many though were for kids a bit older than Wolfie, so we'll have to wait until the next time we're here. Before we continue on with our family adventure, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor for this video, KiwiCo. If y'all don't already know, KiwiCo deliver cool hands-on projects and fun activities for your kids directly to your front door. It celebrates the concept of small today and big tomorrow, teaching kids creative and innovative confidence so they can grow up and change the world. It exposes kids to science, technology, engineering, art, and math, helping build their creativity and problem-solving skills at home. We personally love it because they have crates for all ages, including our little one between 0 and 24 months. The Panda Crate we received was developed specifically for infants and toddlers in partnership with researchers at the Seattle's Children's Hospital to promote learning and early childhood development. And being a family overseas in Japan, it's sometimes difficult to find international friendly resources. So this monthly study inspired crate delivered every month containing two months worth of products and information is really the practical and convenient solution for our busy home. So get 30% off your first month of any KiwiCo subscription by using our code TOKYOZEBRA and link in the description. So shopping with Wolfie this time around was a bit more challenging as he wanted to go everywhere compared to the last time when he was 4 months old and attached to us on a baby sling. So wherever we went, he went as well. All good though, it just means that he has daddy's explorer gene. Is he okay? Yeah. Yeah. He's more, more money, more money. Okay. Okay. Get a tsunami. Good job, Opie. One more? One more? Hey, give the tsunami. Pizza is not a bad idea. Oh, you got two cheese pizzas? I was gonna eat the whole thing, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think you can either. It's so big! I was thinking of like half a size. We're used to Japan sizes. Oh my goodness, this is so big. Like it? He doesn't like to sit still so much. In the beginning, basically I was with him, pushing a cart, entertained him. At the same time, I was thinking about to buy. That was so tiring. And then afterwards, I had to take him and I, like we walked around. But like you can't really go shopping with him, right? You just need to. You just hold... In the beginning, one more. <laughs> 
yeah, I wonder when we're gonna be able to just like, you know, I see other like kids that are just in the car calmly just looking around. <laughs> this guy likes to move around. Nice to, meet you, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm from Kuwait, so I've uh, I've been watching you for a while. Yeah. And okay. I like your videos very much. All right. Thank, thank you. you man. Thank yeah. you for sharing. Thank All you. Right, have a good one. Thank you. Good one. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Okay, so we are back. Finally, Whoopi is asleep. Got home relatively quickly, probably around 45 minutes. So it wasn't that bad. And I think he's gotten pretty used to the seat. I guess with the help of YouTube, he's able to like sit quietly in the seat. But I think overall, we did get all the stuff we needed for the Thanksgiving event. Oh, and we got ribs, we got ribs, look at that. Like this ribs right here. 3,300 yen. It's about like 30 bucks. Um, this probably at the grocery store would cost almost a hundred dollars for something this size. Mm -hmm. But you do have to be careful because they have some things that are actually more expensive than the supermarket. And another thing like this bag was like roughly around 700 yen, which is probably like, you know, six bucks. I think I bought this online last year and it was about 15 bucks. So um, they know that Costco doesn't deliver, so they, they make money off of it. And in fact, I think we bought some like Kirkland popcorn. People will like take the 40 pack or 50 pack, whatever it is in Costco, and then like break them up into like five packs and get delivered through Amazon to your house. All right, so that is pretty much it. We have enough for our Thanksgiving event coming up in a few days. If you guys wanna see what happens then, then definitely subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss that video. Um, or if you guys just wanna see any more stuff that's happening with us, in our life, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, what are you making, Michael? I'm ready to rip. I'm gonna have to have a rib off, you and me. You ready to go against my world famous? Your famous shrinky. <laughs> we'll leave that out. Shrunk ribs. <laughs> that was one time. <laughs>